Believe it or not guys, the very first new release for 2022 is inside this box. For the main line that is, we've gotten the NASCAR Bubba Wheelhouse, NASCAR Rowdy Revan Bush, but truly the first new release is indeed in this box. They wait all the way to case F to release it, so we're going to dive right in here. We can't waste any more time. Mattel waited all the way till May, and the 2022 mainline actually should have started in like October, so they kind of waited like eight months. So we're not gonna waste any more time. I'm just gonna say I got this case from Get Me Collectibles. I thought there was a sizable amount of quote unquote new stuff in here, basically just new to 2022 packaging stuff in here to make it worth you know, for me to buy the entire case, because like the last case, KC, it definitely wasn't worth it because there were so many, you know, repeats and whatnot. But yeah, guys, welcome back to a case unboxing. I hope you're excited. Like, I am absolutely thrilled. I don't know if I should be, though, because like if I was told like a couple years ago that, you know, you would be getting your first new single in May of the year and it would only be a character varying, it wouldn't be a new character. Like, I don't think I'd be very excited, but like right now in this moment, I am excited. So, we're gonna get into it. Case F, that's the digit you're looking for. 24 pieces, made in Thailand, we know. All right, I'm just gonna use the good old T here. So how are you guys doing today? I haven't been uploading quite as consistently as I've used to, but to be completely fair, Mattel has just not been giving me enough stuff to do. And I can't just bombard you guys with custom reviews all the live long day like that just would not be right like that would kind of get repetitive and it needs to have some spruce up action like there has to be something different you know on the channel and so i decided to just kind of space some stuff out because i know that i'll eventually just run out of content and yeah i thought i'm going to make kind of a big deal out of this case because yeah you know it's kind of exciting we have some new stuff down there but first we're going to start with the not so new stuff for whatever reason, Mattel thought it wise to include two Bug Mouth Lightning McQueens. An interesting variant of McQueen to include two of, like I probably would not have done that. Like sometimes, I don't know, I can understand when they put like two of like with the normal McQueen in there, but Bug Mouth McQueen is just kind of an obscure one to do. He was first in case C if you guys remember. And this, that was his first time being released from Thailand, but now he's been in several cases, so it isn't too exciting anymore. Now, Jonathan Wrenchworth is yet to be released for 2022, and this will be his first time from Thailand. He was supposed to be in the last case, case E, so I don't know what happened to him. He might be canceled, who knows. Same thing with Dana Crankoff, who was also supposed to be in case E. Now these cards are absolutely annihilated. <laughs> like they are not not good looking. Quite bendy. This one's good though. Easter buggy. A little late, but better late than ever. Like I am always happy to see a bunny. Like bunnies are like one of my favorite animals. Kangaroos are the number one favorite animal. And bunnies are basically just like miniature and more widespread kangaroos. And so yeah. Unfortunately, though, Mattel was not able to get this case or case E out in time for Easter. In fact, they released it like the day after Easter. So, mm, it's all right. Last year, they did a much better job because they put Easter buggy in case D. And case D came out in March. And so they had plenty of time before Easter. And people were finding the case all throughout that month. Now we do have these three cars in this case. This is just an air. I mean, all of them say it, so it's not like a unique air, but Mattel is using the Bruce image, the Bruce Miller stock image on all the card backs when it's actually the cars one RPM racer, Winford, Bradford, Rutherford, and this is the cars three RPM racer. Whoa. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, it does kind of stink that they didn't get this out in time. I don't know. It just might be a little testament to their incompetency in the sense that they could have just slotted him in case A. I mean, they truly could have just put him in C or D. That would have been probably perfect timing. Oh, well, not my problem. I'm not trying to sell these. Lightning McQueen. 
only one of him. He has been overshadowed by his bug mouth counterpart today. This is yeah, it's a decent card. Now here we have yet another possible cancellation tractor who's been on the card back for a long time now but has yet to surface so we'll see what happens with him. I would love to see a Thailand tractor. I mean I guess we've seen a bunch of like the racing tractors from Thailand but to see just like the standard cow tractor would be kind of interesting. So hopefully he gets released soon but I don't know it's just weird that him and Jonathan Rentworths have been on the card backs for so long now and yet they haven't been released. And we know that Jonathan was supposed to be in case E. Anyways, we have Rusty's Cruz Ramirez here. I don't really see too many of these ever hanging around on the pegs. This one's in bad shape, as you can see there. But, yep. So I'm not going to complain about her. Yeah, something about her. I do. I remember I really was excited when they first released her in 2017. A little bit of that shine is worn off because it's been so long now and like four re-releases later. But yeah, she's still kind of nice. Sally's another one I won't ever have any qualms with. Don't really see too many of her on the pegs. And I just love, you know, being able to compare like the 2006 Desert releases to, you know, whatever they're doing in present day. And so if you could like set them side by side, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, you'd be like, wow, what happened to the blister? <laughs> Card back isn't as exciting as they used to be. Yeah. Our 2006 elves were just absolutely spoiled. So yeah, there you have Sally. Wow, this is kind of interesting. I I approve of this. Two Dave alternators in the case, which is the Cars 1 Revolting Racer. Used to be called Davey Apex, but Mattel decided to rename him about midway through his life. I have actually not seen, I've seen little to none of these on the pegs and I've you know gone out a decent amount as you seen in like hunt episode 20 and whatnot I've been to the stores a decent amount but haven't seen too many of him so to include two in this case like that's a pretty good call I would say the piston cup racers always tend to sell well on the back here you can see again Jonathan Donna Sarge Ramon Sally Bugmouth McQueen and Timothy two stroke Maybe two stroke. Since I have so many of him now, like <laughs> legit, I wasn't expecting to get two more. I might do a Thailand variant review of him. Looks kind of different. Might as well, because I've done some of the other ones. Who is this? Oh, no way. It's our first new release for the case. And that is Chisaki here. This is not her first time being released from Thailand, and it's most definitely not her first time being released, period, but it is her first time on 2022 packaging. She looks pretty good. I do like how the red and the black just kind of complement. Like, it looks good on the Red Riders packaging. I think her first time being released from Thailand was last year. So it's still kind of fresh, but yeah, she looks good. I've always liked these releases like Suki, Harumi, Chisaki. They're all kind of along the same wavelength and they all get released quite a bit. Last year they did all three. I don't think we're getting all three this year. On the back here you can see Mater with Balloon who will be in the next case, case G. Artist Ramon who was in the last case, case E. Sheriff, Sarge, we've seen them a bunch. Otis is only in case D. Lewis is in this one. Francesco, case E. He might be back again, but doesn't look like it. Nice. And it's not a good card. Yeah, if I was going to have like any of these be on good cards, like that would be one of them. So I appreciate that case gods. For whatever reason, like these are also like super dusty. Like you can't really, I don't know, can you tell? Yeah, you can probably tell. Like, look how dusty that is. You ready? Yeah, I don't know why they got so dusty because it's like a sealed case. But 
Anyways, here you have Marlon Clutches McKay. Say for sore eyes, he hasn't been in a case in a little bit. I always see him on the card backs, like when I am doing other case videos. And I'm like, hmm, haven't seen him in a while. Like, I honestly don't think he's been in a case in C, maybe even B. He definitely was not in case E, though. I can say that for certain. I don't think he was in D either. So, small victories. And there you go. You have the same card back as we saw with Light McQueen. Mr. Tracked Away, yeah, G. All right. Set him aside now. I can literally see the dust bunnies floating in the air. Like, that's how wild this is. <laughs> Anyways, here we have a liability, one of the Demolition Derby racers. Now, she has been in quite a few cases thus far. So we're not going to spend that much time with her. I feel like she's definitely gotten included in more cases than APB there. I don't know if we're getting any other Demolition Derby racers this year. Yeah, I think I talked about this before, but they should like re-release some of the more obscure ones. Like I think Sigler is definitely due for a re-release. I would say that Pushover, I know Pushover got released last year, but like that's an extremely rare release, believe it or not. The 2021 Pushover is probably as rare as like the bumper save tractor from last year. Maybe even as rare as like Racing Red Mater. I mean, yeah, it's wild. But anyways, here we have another new to 2022 packaging release, and that is Derek Williams. Now, this guy is not super exciting to see because of the fact that he was just released last year, and it was at the end of last year. He was in the second to last case, so we've seen a lot of him, and he was actually just, I don't know, for whatever reason, like Walmart had like you know, their Easter baskets, like their Easter bins rather, that they put in the center of aisles. And they filled them with like Case L remnants. And so you saw a lot of Derek Williams, a lot of Mummy Luigi and Guidos and whatnot. So yeah, I've seen a lot of this guy lately. He's no different from his 2021 release. I was super excited when he got released last year though, so I shouldn't be that upset. Like I really do like this guy and he was indeed one of my favorite releases for last year. I love how they had the microphone coming up behind the Cars logo there in between the Disney Pixar. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I don't think we've seen anything like that yet, so that's pretty nice. Like, <laughs> I don't think the microphone's quite as tall as it should be. Like, That looks taller than that. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Whew. Got some craziness going on here on the back. But anyways, we have another new release, which is Smiling Damaged the King. So yeah, he will have an expression variant from when he was released way, 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 way back in 2009. But yeah, that's actually going to be super exciting. I know a lot of people are looking forward to that release because, well, the 2009 version was rare. He did get re-released in 2010, but as a Moving Eyes lenticular version. We also have Dexter Hoover with checkered flag. That's an old stock image. Like these are, I think that's actually a new stock image, but all these other ones are like old from their Chinese releases. So it'll be interesting to see what he looks like coming from Thailand. Same thing with Brad Windmiller though, although I'm definitely more excited for this than that. Spin Out McQueen will be kind of interesting as well, although his eyes are covered, so it'll be kind of hard to tell. He will be in case G, we know that for sure. Dashboardman and Chick Hicks were in E, and then Murray's been all over the block. So yeah, kind of a lot to break down here on this card back. But yeah, that Damage the King re-release is big time. Big time. All right, what we got? We're going to go this way. Miles Axrod with microphone. Yep. <laughs> if you guys still don't know... There are two versions of Miles Axelrod floating around the 2022 mainline. One has the microphone like this, and the other one is the version without the microphone. And so he will have a different expression as well. But yeah, I don't know why they decided to do both this year. Kind of a questionable decision. But either way, it is good to see Miles back because he took a extensive sabbatical. I think the last time we've seen Miles was like 2013, maybe? 2013, no. 
2015 was when he got released with the microphone. 2014, he was the wild Miles Axrod, so that was the deluxe. 2013 was Miles with Open Hood. That was a chase. So, and there's the card back for you guys. Here we have Kurt with Bug Teeth. I've seen a boatload of this guy. So, yeah. I honestly, like, wouldn't put it past myself to just fling him across the room like that. I'm just kidding. That would be car abuse. Never would do such a thing. No cars were harmed during the making of this video. But seriously, though, I've seen, like, way too many of them. And, like, every time I kind of see, like, a trainee, like, I think it might be Jay with the VR headset. And I get excited. And then I'm like, oh. Mm. Just teasing me. The pegs are just playing with me. Here we have John Belia Chimichanga. Oh, so this is another Demolition Derby version or racer. Yeah. Forgot about her. Although she's been released like three years in a row now. So yay that. There were two of her in case E. So now we have three basically floating around out there. If like a store gets these cases within like a week or two of each other. And then you have John Belia Chimichanga peg warming. That's exciting. Really cool release though. Where did my voice go there? Whoa. <clears throat> wow. The voice just decided to take a time out there for a second. But anyways, yeah. Great release though. Like a great character. Very unique with all the polka dots. But just Mattel has overproduced it over the last few years. And has really just kind of sucked the value out of it which really is unfortunate like Mattel has a tendency to do that with a lot of releases like they will just over and over produce it and so we just get so tired and bored of it and almost to the point of having some sort of like vendetta against it like almost to the point of being vengeful against some of these releases because of how much we see them and how much we would rather see someone else at that point so yeah just my thoughts what do I know though the only guy on this card back we haven't seen yet is Kabuto. Would assume he'll be in case G, but he's been also on the card backs for a while. Who's this? Oh, it's Lewis Hamilton. Nice. This one's actually kind of exciting. We could talk about him. Card back's a little wonky. It's like a very bendy. Like it's an absolute ocean here. You could surf on this card back. Look at this. All right. That's enough fun for today. So yeah, they're actually using a new piece of artwork for Lewis Hamilton. This artwork has existed like on other merchandise in the past, but this might be the first time they're actually using it on, you know, one of the single diecast packagings, which is really cool because we've seen a lot of the other Lewis Hamilton artwork and, you know, it gets a little dry seeing, you know, the same old, same old every year because they do tend to release the World Grand Prix racers a lot. So yeah, he looks good. Definitely not his first time being released from Thailand, though. We've gotten him several years ago. But this is the first time he's been released in 2022 packaging. So we got to take a moment to celebrate that. On the back, you have Mater with Balloon, Green Ramon. Or as Mattel calls it, Ramon Green. Because we're incorporating Spanish grammatical structures into the English language now. You have Sheriff and Sarge over there, Chisaki, Otis, and Francesco Bernoulli. Nice. Now this is where things really get exciting here because we have two Winford, Bradford, Rutherford. So at least Mattel is consistent. Like I would be a little upset if they had included two of the Dave alternators, but not two of this one. But Mattel has their bases covered and they know that people love Piston Cup racers and so they tossed in a couple of him. Now, everyone was just going absolute nuts when they saw Bruce Miller on the back of those other card backs. And I tried to reassure everyone that Bruce Miller is not getting re-released. Well, I guess it isn't really reassurance because when I told them they were actually upset because people wanted to see Bruce Miller instead of this guy, which is understandable because quick story history lesson way back in the latter half of 2019, it was part of the Blue Desert line. We got a Thailand release of Winford Bradford Rutherford here, but they used 
the Bruce Miller artwork. Now, Bruce Miller is the Cars 3 RPM racer. This is the Cars 1 RPM racer. And so it really kind of was unfortunate because it's like as if Mattel thought they had released Bruce Miller at the time, but they were actually just, you know, using his artwork and whatnot. And so now they continued the mystery a little bit by putting that image on the back of those card backs, arousing some more suspicion. But, you know, it turns out we just have a re-release of that same Thailand 2019 Blue Desert WBR, a.k.a. Winnie. Now, I might do a review of this guy as well because he looks pretty nice, actually. Like, I do like the Piston Cup racers from Thailand. Like, they always are slightly different, so they make a good source for a video. Plus, this is a very popular Piston Cup racer. At least they're using the correct artwork, so happy to see that. He hasn't been released as a single with correct artwork since 2013. Teen, almost 10 years. Wow. We've seen that exact same card back before. Yeah, the condition of these packagings is less than ideal. Definitely subpar. What do we got going on? All right, we're going to go from the left here. Wow, this video is running long. This one is also new to 2022 packaging. However... This is not his first time being released from Thailand, which is kind of odd. Like at first you might be surprised because he's a rather obscure variant of a character, right? Like Wasabi Mouth Mater, you'd think like, oh, that might be his first time being released from Thailand. No, it's actually not. 2020 Funny Flashback series, they did him already. And it seems like they're kind of doing the Funny Flashback series again, but just kind of incognito mode because you have Bug Mouth Mater, you have Kurt with Bug Teeth, and now you have this guy. So, hmm. unfortunately though, they still have not done him correctly. You can see in the movie, he does not have that Lightning McQueen 95 logo on the side, but he does on the die cast and he always has. His artwork is pretty cool though. Like, look at that. <laughs> Doesn't get much more accurate than that. Would have been cool if they released him like actually with the tongue out of his mouth. Like that would be an elite release. And nothing on the back there. Just Chisaki and Lewis or some of the other new to 2022 packaging releases from this case. Here we have Mr. Sarge who's been released in now three cases in a row. D, E, and F. So we don't need to spend any time on him. Is this our God, Jackson Storm? It is, okay. On a perfect card too, nonetheless. Of course, wouldn't expect anything less than that for Jackson Storm. Super dusty though. But yeah, I don't think anything needs to be said about this guy. He's been included in almost all the cases this year as well. As seen in Cars 3, well, these three were not in Cars 3. If you want to get technical, these two were, but <laughs> not in their forms presented here. These are the Cars 1 versions of the character. <coughs> Murray Clutchburn and Ralph Carlo. Okie dokie, now we're getting into the good stuff here. These are the best two releases, pretty much objectively, in Case F. This is your first time Artie has been released from Thailand and the first time she has been released as a single since 2010. Her last release period was in 2016 in a two-pack with Brian Fee Clamp. So yeah, this is kind of a big deal. I mean, a big deal in terms of like 2022 language, like relative to, you know, what the bar has been set at. So yeah. Same artwork as she had before, or he. I always think Artie's like kind of a female name, but no, this is a guy. I don't think I'll be doing a Thailand review on Artie because most of these, like if you don't have decals, like you're not going to be very different from your Chinese version. I do have the Chinese version here though, so you can kind of get like a little comparison going on here. But yeah, you can see that the eyes are just outlined a little bit more. 
slight differences in the wheels. The headset looks a little bit not as silver. It looks a little cheaper, to be honest. This looks better than that. Let's check out the license plate, see if they look all right. Yeah, they look pretty good. And they kept the same license plate number, OTU48. The text above it reads, Lock Nut. So there you have it. There's my review of the Highland variant of Artie. At least that one's on a good card. Thank you. And there is the same card back we already have seen. All right, guys. 25 minutes, almost 26 minutes into the video. Here's the moment you've come for or the moment you skipped ahead for. The first new single of 2022. I do not count Mater with Working Hook. That's a bogus release. This is a new release indeed. Unfortunately, though, Mattel has misnamed him Sadeep. Sadeep is actually the other character that appears with a VR headset. Like Jay and Sadeep are like playing with it together and they give them like a they give each other a tire fist bump essentially. And so when I do the review of Jay with the VR headset, like in a couple days, you'll see all that. You can probably more easily understand it than what I'm explaining now. But basically they misnamed him here. Slightly understandable because of the fact that they appeared like in the same scene with the VR headsets, but also not understandable because we all knew it was going to be Jay, right? Like on the case lists that were leaked, it said Jay. Who made those case lists? Somebody that works at Mattel. That same somebody clearly does not do this, like does not put the text on the card. And that is just extremely disconcerting to me because like there's people in Mattel that like know it's going to be Jay, like it's going to be the blue trainee with number 94 and yet you still get that stuff. Like it really is irritating guys. I know this episode has been heavily satirical, very sarcastic, but like th that stuff really shouldn't happen. And yeah, it's kind of, kind of frustrating, you know, like it. <laughs> Would have been something like if they put Sadiq with VR headset on all the case lists. And so like all the time, like we were expecting it to be Sadiq. And then, you know, out of the blue, it turned out to be Jay. Like that would have been one thing. But like, I mean, that obviously still would have been a mistake. But like the fact that they knew it was going to be Jay in the case list that they sent out to their distributors and then they put the wrong name on the card back like Mattel. What are you doing back there? Anyways, I will review this guy very soon. So definitely stick around for that. The card back shows all re-releases except for Paul Conrev who will be in case G. Don't get too excited though because he's already been released from Thailand. Yeah, this is pretty nice though. The artwork is the same as like when they first released Jay, but they just kind of photoshopped on the VR headset. But it looks good. It looks kind of big though. Like, I don't know. It looks maybe like 20% bigger than it should be. Anywho though, we'll save all that discussion for my review of him in a couple days. I want to thank you guys for watching this very long video. I really didn't think it would be this long because there's nothing like super mind boggling in this case, but... I guess I just kind of got carried away talking. You know that happens. I'm a very talkative person when it comes to these videos. And a lot of you guys probably like, and I know like people in the comments say like this guy talks too much. But yeah, you know what? Just get used to it. If you don't like it, don't watch my videos. That's how it's going to be. Let me know guys in the comment section below who is your favorite from the case. Most people will probably say Jay with VR headset because he's new. But I think some also may say Winford because... Piston Cup Racers are awesome. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you soon for that review. Bye now.